الكرام اهلا ومرحبا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامج رواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة ان نستضيف رجل اعمال مميز او سيدة اعمال مميزة رحبوا مع اليوم بميس مجدة صاحبة اروما دي اوليو Hi, how are you, Miss Magda? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, I'm so happy. Miss Magda, can you tell us about you and when did you start your uh, aroma de olio? Okay, with pleasure. Uh, it's been a journey, as with most businesses, with, uh, with passion. Uh, it started very unexpectedly because all my life before Aroma di Olio, I was a retail buyer for very big international chains. Yeah. Um, so I worked in the UK and then here in the UAE. Uh, but six years ago, not even five years ago, something unexpected happened in my life. Uh, I had health issues. I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I decided to leave the corporate world. Mm. Uh, I took time off. I decided to focus on my health, on my wellness, on just me for the first time in my life. Yeah. So what I decided to do, obviously it's a diagnosis that when you get that, you don't know what to do, it crashes you. Yeah. Uh, but I decided to take things in my own hands and I started to study, investigate and research into what I can do apart from the traditional standard medicine, what I can do to help myself heal. Uh, after almost becoming a medical student, because I was reading so much, so many books, um, I figured out that what I was missing and what most people do miss in their diets and lifestyles is healthy fat. Yeah. Uh, so a while later, this idea was born in my head that when I was trying to buy good olive oil or other healthy oils uh, in the supermarkets, I couldn't find either the information or the product no one could help me in these stores. There was no knowledge. Uh, and I had to buy my products, the ones I wanted for my personal health, from abroad. Yeah. I was importing them from Europe, from, from America. Uh, and this is where I spotted the gap in the market because there's so many health conscious people. There's so much need for this. Uh, so I decided to step in, fill in that gap, um, and do something differently uh, and become an expert because this is what we were missing not just the product but the expertise that can help the public that can help and advise people um, so this is how it was born it was born out of my own own necessity necessity yeah but I decided I will serve others with that because it's so needed in this region. Yeah, very nice. Miss uh, Magda, can you tell us more about the service that you provide in your aroma de olio? Of course. Um, so what I do, I look for the most healthy olive oil that exists in the world. Yeah. And the way I do it, um, I look for passionate small and medium producers in the Mediterranean region. So we're talking Greece, Italy, Spain, Croatia, Turkey. Oh. Um, mm. And then I work with them to see how they harvest their products, how they look after their growth. Uh, and then I check because I'm also a sommelier, olive oil sommelier. Yeah. Uh, so I do the whole analysis. So I do the organoleptic analysis using glasses like that. When you when you smell, when you taste, yeah. you can you can figure out whether the oil is good or bad, whether it has been oxidized, whether it's been treated from the smell. From the smell really? itself, yeah. you can even mm. figure out if the olives, olive fruit was treated in the right way. Oh. So for example, it was still on the tree. You will teach me. <laughs> I will teach, yeah. I'm in school myself, you yeah. know, I, I joined, uh, I became a student last yeah. year at the Olive Oil School of Spain yeah. to become a fully certified olive oil consultant and mm. sommelier. Wow. And this is the only school in the world that yeah. does that. So. Uh, it's a very long process and a very long uh, program to, to learn that. And yeah. I'm still in the process, but I'm, I'm almost close to graduation. Yeah. So this is, you can see what I have here. Yeah. These are samples of the bad oil. 
Yeah. Uh, so they teach me and they are all very different, but all is because something happened on the whole journey of the product. Yeah. Like something was, I don't know, olives were frozen on the trees. Yeah. Uh, these olives, for example, were too long in the backyard before they were pressed. Yeah. These olives maybe had some disease. These olives, really? <laughs> yeah, these olives, for example, maybe, I don't know, maybe there wasn't enough rain or maybe there was too much rain. Yeah. Uh, so we use these glasses yeah. to then smell and taste the bad oil. So we have to do that at school as well. It's not the most amazing oil yeah. because that's the whole point. So you can learn how to distinguish and how to learn the defects of olive oil uh, and then pinpoint what happened during the production, during the whole process. Um, so once, once I do that, I taste every single oil before I bring it here, before I import it. Yeah. But I also have a chemical analysis in the laboratory yeah. where I check the, the acidity level and it's the, high, the, the lower the better, uh, where I check the polyphenols level. And this is, from the health perspective, this is the most important thing because yeah. the more polyphenols, that means more antioxidants. And this is what we need in our bodies. Yeah. Um, so I check that. Um, with every single product I decide to bring and choose for um, uh, for my store, for my online store. Mm. Uh, so you can, you know, I give that guarantee uh, to my customers that what they get here is not only tasting amazing, it's also the attributes of these products are the best you can get on the market. Mm. Um, because this is really where the value of olive oil comes from. There is no need to, you know, there is no point of buying um, olive oil that you don't know nothing about because yeah. then it's just empty calories. And in most cases, what happens, olive oil is, uh, is displayed like that in see-through bottles yeah. uh, in supermarket for a very yeah, long period yeah. of time. The color, same color, yeah. So the same, same color. color. However, so they can't be in they shouldn't be in bottles like that they yeah. should be in bottles like that when wow. there is no light yeah there's no light there is no um to get entered to, to enter oil. at all yeah. so it has to even here it's covered totally yeah, yeah. because it's not just the sun sun sunlight yeah. it's also the electrical light oh. that destroys the good properties of olive oil mm. um so, so like you can see every single product that I have here, mm. they are, it's all it's all closed. Yeah, yeah, there's closed. no light. <laughs> yeah. um, I can smell. I can't see what the color of oil. Uh, yeah, it's closed. Yeah, it has to be closed. Yeah. That's that's the that's the first thing. Uh, if you don't have it closed, if you don't have it in in a in a bottle like that, it should be stored in a box. Mm -hmm. So this one, for example, I'll show you. It's the most one of the most beautiful products I have. Oh, uh, it's so <laughs> elegant. Um, yeah. But we keep that always in that box. And from where is this oil? Uh, this one is, for example, from Spain, Spain. and this is very special because again. We only have a few hundred bottles produced in a year yeah. because this comes from trees that are millennial, so over 1,000 years old. Oh. They are certified. So, wow. so in this grove, we only have 35 trees yeah. that are over 1,000 years old. And this oil comes from these from... ancient trees. Yeah. Um, so I have Spain. This is Italy. A very special oil, uh, money yeah. uh, from Italy. Um, where the um, all, a lot of chefs in in Hollywood use that yeah. because the uh, the founder used to actually work in the film and, and industry. Yeah. Uh, so, but when he decided to move on, uh, he set up. Well, he is Italian. Yeah. So that was natural <laughs> for him. Uh, so he started producing his own olive oil, which is amongst the best in the entire world. Uh, but because of his connections, yeah. he obviously did go to his uh, to his network within uh, within Hollywood and and around there. And now all the celebrity chefs use that. Even you can see articles about this oil um, in some top top magazines and where celebrities say, "Oh, money is the best oh, olive wow, oil yeah. in the world." <laughs> wow. um, so yes, I source my oils directly from producers across the Mediterranean region. Yeah. Um, but I want to go beyond that because olive oil production is now expanding to California, yeah. Australia.
New Zealand. I want to go to these places as well because oils from different regions taste differently. They come from different olive varieties. They come with different profiles, yeah. with different health benefits as well. So I want to try and bring them here because in this market here, we don't have anything beyond yeah, yeah. the Mediterranean. Yeah, of course. Miss Magda, can you tell us about your future plan? Yes, I can tell you about my future plan, although the future is never predictable. Yeah. Um, so what we decided to start with um, um, B2C via an e-commerce website. Mm. Uh, so the last two years um, I have been building that. Um, and it's a very comprehensive website, the one of a kind where once you go to my, it's not a typical shop. It's a shop that where you click on a, on this product. For example, it takes you to a product page yeah. and then you see all the information about these products, including some of the chemical analysis as yeah. well. It tells you the tasting profile. It tells you the, the pairing options. So it's very comprehensive. If, you are, if I came to your home and I was a private chef, yeah. I would tell you this goes well with that or with this. Mm -hmm. My website does that. Yeah, so give them uh, your opinion also. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, but for the future, we also Ooh. want to expand within the B2B business. Uh, so celebrity chefs, Michelin star chefs, all the top restaurants in the in the UAE and even beyond the UAE. Yeah. Uh, they they know what they want, yeah. but they find it difficult sometimes to find it here. And because they don't have the scale, they cannot import directly from, from producers. Uh, so we can do that for them. Yeah. Uh, so next stage is definitely expansion to be to be the chefs the restaurants inshallah we hope you all the best in future miss magda thank you thank you miss magda can you tell us how to reach and contact with your aroma di olio okay so the best place to go is uh, aroma di olio.com yeah that's our website uh, but we are under aroma di olio on all social media so instagram youtube facebook even TikTok now, yeah. uh, because there's so much interest from the younger pro pro population. Yeah. Uh, so it's Aroma di Olio. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Magda. Nice to meet you. مشاهدينا الكرام إلى هنا تنتهي حلقة اليوم. تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC. دمتم بخير وفي رعاية الله.